Now, if there are certain searches that you do a lot, you can actually create templates and save your searches as template queries. Now, it does come already with a number of templates. For instance, uh, if we have a look at my photos, there we go, we'll go away. And we can see here, let me just reposition this. Right, so this query is content kind, is image, uh, no size attributes or name, uh, located in pictures, no exclusions, and all most recently opened. And there we have 81 files found. Now, what you might want to do is if it's something you're going to use a lot, let me just resize these um, columns. Uh, let's create a new column. And as these are pictures or photos, let's have a look at the pixels. There we go. There's one for pixel height. And uh, let's add another one in for pixel width. Okay, now they don't get populated straight away. What you need to do is just stop the query and run the query again and can go away and actually get the data out. So let's say this is a particular template that we want to save. Of course, now that we've got the pixel information, we can sort by pixel height or pixel width. So that might be quite useful for us. Uh, if we go to File, Save as Template, Photos, Pixel Info, Close that down, go back to templates, and there we have photos, pixel info, and you'll see it's actually remembered the column layout as well. So you don't just save the query in the template, you save the column layout as well. Now, before moving away from doing general queries, um, also I need to point out as well, you have this filter option. So rather than changing your query, once you have your query set out, uh, if you just want to do a quick filter, for instance, if I just do iStock, because there are a number of files there with iStock, the filter bar will just allow you to filter the results of your query quite simply and quite quickly without having to go in and change the actual query itself.